When building an audio system, noise is a problem that troubles DIYers a lot. The noise amplified by the amplifier board greatly affects the listening experience. Even could not stand to hear it anymore. This is also very common at home when two CD players are connected to two different power strips. One of them also carries a large current applicants, such as a heater, and these two power strips are plugged into the same electrical jack on the wall. When playing music, you will hear a lot of noise. This is especially true in the audio systems. Next, we will build a Bluetooth audio system. Still, we will use our 5S Listen battery board to power the Bluetooth board and two amplifier boards at the same time to see if there is noise. So, what caused this noise? Can it be solved? The reason is that each device in the audio system do not share the same GND, resulting in a potential difference between the GND connections, which has a great impact on the output. As a sample that presents many times in the schematic diagram, GND is easily ignored. When during the schematic, people always default the same potential as each GND. However, this is not the case. Since GND has its own resistance, a voltage difference will be created between the GND connections after the current flows. In a mono DC circuit, even a small GND potential difference can easily cause the output errors. Causing ground noise. Then the ground noise will be amplified by the amplifier, and will significantly affect the listening experience. In this video, we will take a standard non-inverting amplifier as an example. The default input power supply and the resistance have the same potential. According to the voltage division principle, we can get. Therefore, when the input power is 200 millivolt, we can get one volt output. In the original circuit diagram, a 20 millivolt voltage is inserted between the input power supply and R1. Also, calculate according to the principle of voltage division. It can be concluded that. Only 20 millivolts of the potential difference can reduce the original one volt output voltage to 0.92 volt, which is reduced by 80 millivolt. A relative error of 8% is produced compared to the required one volt output voltage. A practical example is given to help us understand. In the audio system. Play music by using the 3.5 millimeter jack of mobile phones. There is no noise at this time. But if you charge your phone at the same time, there will be more discordant hum in the music, which is the noise appeared by the AC current signal being amplified. As we can see from the circuit diagram shown before. Even a small voltage or potential difference will have a large impact on the output. So, what can we do to solve this problem? Therefore, if noise problem occurs in the audio system, it is recommended to check the voltage potential of each GND connections 
to ensure that each device shares the same ideal GND. If there are problems with not sharing GND, you can connect the GNDs together physically. Let's go back to the audio system we just built to see how it works. So, if you have the same problem as shown in the previous video at home, please try to turn off the high current applicances.